Hello everyone, it's Wednesday night. That means it's time for another Facebook Live. Sorry I had to um, adjust the time of it, but I had a hair appointment tonight and I was hoping I could get in a little early, but I couldn't and it was a color, so I didn't get home until 7.15. So I needed to eat something before I came on here and did a video. So apologize for that, but we are here now. Let me get this video shared. And that will give you all a minute to get on. Hey, Nancy. I'm just getting the video shared. Hopefully my laptop will cooperate. Hope you had a good week. We are almost through. Hey, Betty. I almost got it shared. I wish it would remember what I do and just say share to the same group and I could say yes. All right, we are shared now, so we will get started. <clears throat> so tonight we are playing with the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle. <clears throat> so here is the stamp set and I will show you at the end some cards that we made um, in class Monday night, we used this bundle in class. And that's why I had to use it again for this Facebook Live because it's so pretty. And then the dies, try not to lose them because I've been using them and they're getting kind of, they don't want to stay where they're supposed to. So there are some dies that cut out the stamped leaves and then there are some that do these beautiful intricate cut out leaves and then a branch. So we're using some of the intricate leaves a couple of the well a few of those and the branch on the card tonight and then some of the stamps none of the leaf stamps but some of the other stamps and then this sentiment i mean this dies this stamp set hey lanita this stamp set does not have um, sentiments in it so i had to do some other sets with it and so tonight i'm using this thinking thanks and peace so in class, we did one with this thinking of you, and tonight I'm using this sending thanks. And I want to play with that boo sometime because it's too cute. So that's what we're using tonight. And let's get started. And at the end, um, I will tell you who won. Last week, we did this card with the sparkle of the season bundle. And so at the end, I will tell you who won that card. Because I actually remembered to draw this time before I got on the video. <laughs> All right, let's make this. So I have already done the die cutting, just so you wouldn't have to watch through that, sit through that. And I actually forgot as I was making some more of these and stamped the sentiment, but I will do it on the other side just so you can see. Oh, and I guess, oh, here I thought I was ready, but I didn't get any of my blocks out. Hang on. So let's get the sending thanks. Nope, I need the big one. So sending thanks. Oh, I just forgot this one. I have the others ready. Well, that's good. That makes me feel a little bit better. Okay. So the sending thanks is in um, soft suede, which is what I used here. On the um, that's the mat on for the sentiment is soft suede. Let me see. I have too many things going on. Let's move these out of the way a little bit. Try not to lose them, especially these little ones. Okay. And this is a really big stamp, so I do like to do it upside down. And I still make a mess with it, but all right. And the good news is, if this ends up not being straight, we can just turn it over to the other side. All right, so sending thanks. Whoops. There we go. Set that out of the way before it. I'm going to close this up for now. And then I have... 
my card base, I'm gonna set that aside for just a minute, is crumb cake. So I have crumb cake ink. Hey Jackie, welcome. And I'm just going to take this wood grain and just stamp it here along the side just to give it some texture. We did this on one of our cards in class Monday night. And then I'm going to take, get my sentiment piece back while I have my crumb cake ink out. And I'm just going to stamp some of these dots. And so I'm stamping once and then stamping off. And I, oh, I think I'm gonna stamp off. So just a few dots on there. Just add some more interest to it. And then, clean that off a little bit. We're done with the crumb cake. And we will get our soft suede back. And I can't do it without cleaning it. I know the soft suede is a darker color and it will be fine, but I just can't make myself do it. <laughs> so I have to clean it. All right, so then I took the same dots in the soft suede and just added them to the edges of that. Full strength, I didn't stamp them off. And that is all of our stamping. So we are ready to put it together. So I'm going to use, um, my stamp and seal. Oops. I usually put this on the on this. But I don't think I put it too close to the edge, so I think we'll be fine. There we go. And then what I did set that aside cuz I'm done with it. Is I kind of laid my leaves out and my branch kind of under this just however I wanted them and I kind of put the branch on top of the orange so I just kind of laid them out like that then I lifted that up and I cheated I took scotch tape hopefully you can see yeah and I held them and I just taped their ends down. Because I know it's going to be covered up by my sentiment. And no one will know. Except for those of you that watch this video. So don't tell my secrets. No, I'm kidding. You can. So that just, then you don't have to worry about getting liquid glue anywhere. And I just took Stampin' Dimensionals. I think I just did three on here. Because I didn't want it to sag in the middle. So I put one in the middle too but it's not a real wide piece, so I didn't feel like it needed one in each corner. And then I'll just put that on here. Over, Make sure I'm over my tape. I wanna be sure I can see some of this here and there so you can see all the dots. And then I did take my liquid glue for this one because these were pretty small. Now you could run these, you could use our adhesive sheets and that would put adhesive on the back of them and you wouldn't have to use glue or anything. You would just peel off the back and you would have adhesive there. I, um, <clears throat> thank you, Jackie. I'm glad you like it. I love these colors. So I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue. And I'm going to put, I'm trying not to get my fingers in it. That one there, not that it matters. So I didn't tell you the colors. This is Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie, and then Early Espresso for the branch. And I will put all the measurements on my blog after I get done here. I'll do that so you can see it. And everybody that comments on this video will be in a drawing next week to win this card. All right, so there's my pumpkin pie. And I just like the way they kind of layered over that. It looked like wheat to me. I'm not sure what it is, but it looked like wheat. All right, so those now are stuck. And then 
You have to have, where did my bling go? Uh-oh, maybe I forgot to leave it out. You have to have a little bling. I did. And so this, these are the Genial Gems. So it may be hard to see on the camera, but I just put three of them on here because I just add some nice sparkle and they're a nice warm color. So I thought they went well with this card. Get my take your pick tool and I don't, let's see if I have enough in this left in this one. If I don't, I'll open up the other one because I don't have any green in here. Nope, I have to open this one too. Um, I don't have any green, so I didn't want to use the green ones on here. I just didn't think they would look as good. They're beautiful, but they just don't match this card. So I'll have to figure out something to do with the green ones since I have a lot of green ones left over on this one. All right. So we're going to take one and just kind of put it at the bottom of those. And then we'll take two little ones and put one there and one here. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you like this. There we go. Now we have it all done. So there we go. There's the card I made before, and there's the card we made tonight. Like I said, everybody that comments will be in a drawing to win this. So let me show you a few other cards. The ladies that were in class Monday will have already seen these, but these are the ones we made in class. Hey, Allison. You'll have to watch the rest of it um, later. So we made this one. This is Cajun Craze, Sahara Sand, and then some Sahara Sand, and maybe some... Soft suede, again, I think this is soft suede. And then this sentiment, I'll just show you since I have it right here still, is from the Pretty Pumpkins bundle. So I just picked out a sentiment from there. This is gorgeous. I haven't played with the stamps yet um, other than the sentiment, so I can't wait to play with those. All right, and then we made this card, and this is using that other sentiment I told you that I used the thinking of you from this thinking, thinking thanks and praise and some of the little leaves. And I love it. They give you two of these dies and two of these dies of these smaller ones. So that makes it easier to cut out a bunch. So that's nice. And there's where I use that same wood grain, just going down the side of the card. So simple card, very easy to do. And then this card was the last card. And this sentiment is from the Little Delights stamp set. So it's got some Halloween. Those were fall leaves. That's probably Christmas, Christmas lights. Um, definitely some Christmas and Halloween sentiments. Um, the thank you, you could use anytime. Um, and so could you, you could use these also anytime. So this is a nice little sentiment set with a few little extras. Um, that's good to have. And it's not a bundle or anything. It's just the stamp set. <clears throat> so that's what I use down here for the thank you. And there's another one of those beautiful leaves. And I just love these stamps, how they have these like little speckles or dots or something around the leaves. It just gives them extra, I don't know, extra dimension, extra texture. I really like those. All right. And then the last thing is... Um, in my classes, I always make a little treat for you. So this is the one I made this time, and it's just some um, cardstock, some crumb cake cardstock. And then I stamp some leaves and just put some gold ribbon on there. So quick and easy way to, to create little treat packages. So you could do these very easily. We sell these cello bags that have this little star things on them. So you could make a bunch of these very easily. All right. I think that's all I needed to share with you for this gorgeous bundle. So let's see who won the card from last week. So like I said, this was the sparkle of the season. I don't think I have that right here by me. Um, but it has Halloween um, things. And I don't even have the Halloween card I made either. It has Halloween and Christmas and then this fall and so we made this fall card um, last week. And so the winner of this card is Nancy. So Nancy, I will get this in the mail to you. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. 
and I I should see you next week. I, I'm hoping to be in Hot Springs, but that's not till Thursday. Um, so I should be here at normal time next week. So I will see you then. Thank you. Good night.